Well, good morning, everyone. Please excuse the crazy hair this morning or this afternoon. I am outside. I have a rabbit who has a, well, looks like a bite mark or something on her skin. And um, so I took some pictures of it and put it on a um, bunny site, the Backyards Bunny, Backyard Bunnies. And I put them up there to ask them because I've never had this before. I've never seen it. So they gave me, told me what to do. They told me to put some peroxide on it and some Neosporin. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and um, what I'm going to do to fix it. So here's what it looks like. Let's get it out the sun. There, it looks very gnarly. Very yucky. Um, I've already put a little bit of peroxide on it once and it, oops, oh, sorry. And it's, um, it, oh, bubbled up. So I'm going to do it again. I put some peroxide on here and it doesn't seem to bother her at all. So that's good. I'm just dabbing it. I'm not, um, let me see if I can put y'all over here where you can see what I'm doing. Let's see. There we go. That's a little better. So I'm taking it and I'm just dabbing where it is. And it's, it's bubbling up um, on there. And then I'm just letting it sit for a minute. Um, I'm doing what they're telling that what the backyard bunny people told me to do. Um, thank you so much. If you're watching and you happen to say something to me, Thank you. I do appreciate it. But this is a learning experience for both me and you guys because I did not, I, I've never had this before. So, I'm sorry there was a cat. I was trying to figure out what it was. Um, I've never had this before happen. So, this is new to me. And I've been doing rabbits for about a year and a half, almost two years now. So, um, it's just, it's just new. It's just different. I'm just trying to make sure it's nice and clean. I'm going to rub it a little, get some debris off. It doesn't look like, it's not, doesn't, doesn't look like it's hurting her. Looks like there's a scab around the outside and just, so I'm going to do this a few times, you know. Be okay, baby. Yeah. I'm going to give me a little bit of Neosporin. Uh, we call we call this Papa's Magic Medicine. It is um it's triple antibiotic ointment. It's the same thing as Neosporin. Um, and we're just gonna put it, just gonna rub it on there. There we go. Hopefully that'll, hopefully that'll help you, baby girl. She's just laying there. She doesn't act like it bothers her any at all. She's running around, acting normal. She does, I don't have any, I don't feel any more, see any more on her in any way, shape or form. And you can see it right there. It's gnarly, it's very yucky. And um, I checked her this morning and she had poop on her, on her private. And it was extremely swollen this morning. But it's not so swollen now. Um, aren't you? She's pretty. She's look at her. She's pretty. Oh, it's okay, baby. So I mean, put her back with her mama. Hopefully, I don't know if I need to separate. I can't separate her. She's not old enough yet. But uh, I think I'm gonna separate her for a few minutes, for a little bit, just so um, till the neosporin gets what it needs to do, and I'll put her back in there later so let's let's get that going and put y'all back on this side so you guys can see what i'm gonna do all right so this part this one here is empty so i'm gonna put this feed here feed here so she doesn't get out i'm gonna put her in here 
Uh, I'm going to do that just to give her um, her own space for a little bit. A couple of hours just to get that Neosporin in there. I don't want her litter mates or her mom, her litter mate or her mama to um, lick it off. So I'm going to give her just a little bit of food and some water and that's it. So I will... Um, you guys are learning like me, so we will um, learn together, and I'll keep you guys updated. Ta-ta for now.